Hello parents and carers. In this presentation we will be talking to you about Talk for Writing. Talk for Writing is an approach to teaching writing that we use to teach your children to become effective writers and authors. A good place to start is probably to talk about what Talk for Writing actually is. Talk for Writing is an approach to teaching writing that is based on the core principles of how children learn. It builds on three stages imitate, innovate and invent and we're going to look at these now in a bit more detail so that you can understand what your children, children or child will be learning during each stage. So where does the Talk for Right journey begin? The Talk for Right learning journey starts with an initial assessment. This initial assessment is normally in the form of a discussion with the children and a short written outcome. From these discussions and these written outcomes, this then allows the teacher to fully understand the starting points of the children and subsequently plan accordingly for what they need to know, what gaps they have that need to be filled, what skills they need to be taught, and also gives them an understanding of what prior knowledge they have been able to bring from prior units that they have been taught. There is no teaching involved in this aspect of the Talk for Right learning journey and it really is just the children showing what they can do. Once the outcomes of the cold task have been established, the Talk for Right learning journey then begins with the imitation phase. And I'm now going to talk you through some of the activities your children will do during that phase. The imitation phase of the Talk for Right learning journey is really designed to create that buzz and excitement to write. The teaching will begin with some sort of creative hook and the children are familiar with this it through the name of a WOW starter. A WOW starter is an activity that the children will partake in at the start of each Talk for Right learning journey. It might take place in the classroom, through the pictures you can see sometimes it takes place outside of the classroom, it may be through the form of drama, it may be staged by the teachers and this is really just to get the children excited and to fire up their creativity and imagination. The next part of the imitation stage of the Talk for Right learning journey is providing the children with a model text for the text type they are writing about. This could be a diary, a journey tale, a non-chronological report. And this is a really vital part of the Talk for Write process as it's showing the children what is expected of them and what they will be emulating when they come to write their own. Instead of giving the children a copy of the text in written form, the children are not actually exposed to the text in written form, but instead they will co-create a text or story map with the teacher through the forms of pictures and key phrases. And you can see some examples here on the slide of some story or text maps that the children have created. Once they have created these text maps or story maps, the children will then spend subsequent days orally rehearsing the text, sometimes including actions, especially lower down the school. And this is done over many days so that the children can internalise the text and rehearse it until it becomes second nature. By doing this, it's creating opportunities for the children to imitate the language they'll be using before putting pen to paper and creating their own. The incorporation of activities such as drama, role playing are also used to further deepen and enhance their understanding of the text. Towards the end of the imitation phase, the children will then be asked to box up the text. This is a piece of terminology that the children will become increasingly familiar with the more that they go through the Talk for Right learning journey. Boxing up is a simple but powerful problem solving approach where the children will be asked to identify how the text has been organised. 
This will involve looking at the text paragraph by paragraph and stripping it right back to its bare bones to see exactly what is happening in each paragraph. The example on the slide shows you the boxing up of a warning story. So we would have the opening with the main character being warned not to do something, the build-up where the main character ignores the warning, the problem where the main character finds himself in trouble, the resolution where the problem is solved and the ending where the main character reflects on what they've done. By doing this, we are providing the children with a structure for the text and they can then use this as a planning tool when they come to plan their own. Once the children have shown that they understand how the text is structured and have boxed up the text, the children are then invited during each unit to create a toolkit. A toolkit really hones in on the key language features and writing techniques that will further improve their writing. On the screen in front of you, you can see two examples of toolkits that were created. At the time these toolkits were created, the children were learning how to write a quest tale. So as well as understanding the structure of a quest and boxing it up, one of the key parts of the quest tale was the setting. That was a fundamental part of the story. Therefore, the children then honed in on this and created toolkits for how to create uninviting or dangerous settings. And if you have a look and read at the types of tools to do this, you will see that by creating this toolkit, this then allows the children to really, really further enhance their writing and skills. On the right hand side of the slide, you will see the types of toolkits that children will learn. As the children move through the school and through the key stages, these toolkits will become more and more sophisticated, but at the same time, will really encourage the children to take on board what they've already learnt and further build on it. By the end of the year, the children will have a bank of toolkits that they have created. These toolkits remain present in the classroom because we will encourage the children to use more than one toolkit to really further up-level their writing. The second phase of the Talk for Write learning journey is known as the innovation phase. Once the children are familiar with the model text, the teacher will then lead them into creating versions of their own. This is the part of the journey where the children will start to have a go at writing themselves using the tools they have gained from the imitation phase. This stage will normally begin with the children learning skills from the toolkit. These are skills that the teacher will have assessed for in the cold task. You will also see in this stage children doing shared writing, which is writing with the teacher. You may hear them talking about modelled writing, which is where the teacher models the writing process. And then the children will be able to be given opportunities to apply skills that they have learnt through the use of what we call short burst writing, which is short structured writing tasks, which show us what the children have learnt so far. At this stage in the journey, the expectation on the children is not to create brand new versions of warning tales or defeating the monster tales. It's about them using all the skills that they've learnt, including making use of the model text to make new versions that are loosely based upon the story or the text that they already know. Before the children write anything down, they will be encouraged to plan. On the left hand side of the page, you can see here some examples of the children planning. With younger pupils, this will be based on changing the basic story map they have learnt and retelling new versions. Older students use boxed up planning grids and the teacher will demonstrate how to create simple plans and orally develop their ideas. 
Once the children are confident with their plan and have shown that they are orally re able to rehearse what they want to write, the children will be encouraged to write over a number of days. The children's work, as you can see on the right hand side, will be marked and feedback will be given. Children are encouraged to edit their work to ensure that they have shown their ability to include all the skills that they need to before moving on to the final stage of the process. Eventually, children will move on to the third and final phase of the Talk for Write learning journey, which is called the Invent phase. The children will also know this as the independent application, because this is when they will apply independently what has been taught to them and what they have practised so far. Much like the innovation phase, students are guided through planning, drafting and revising their work, but this time it is much more independent. It is also important at the independent application stage that their writing becomes increasingly independent of the original model text they have learnt. Lower down in key stage one, children will make simpler changes to the model text. However, as the children progress through key stage two, they will be expected to add, embellish, alter and manipulate the original model text they have learnt. From key stage two onwards, almost all children will be using the text structure and writing tools to write, drawing on the model text they know their wider reading experience so that they are writing independently and at a high level. Once the children have written their independent application, they will be asked to edit their work and make a few final changes before publishing their work in a book which is designed to show their best writing. I hope that you have found this presentation useful. If you have any more questions about the Talk for Write learning journey, I urge you to speak to your children's class teacher.